a little bit of respite. There's a small respite here. There'll be a sweeping right-hand corner coming up. And then following that, it will ramp up again ever so slightly to the finish of the climb. Fast through that corner. Here she's surrounded by the motorbikes in these narrow roads. It's difficult for them to get out of the way. Peter Sagan has fought really hard on the steep slopes of that climb to remain in contact with the yellow jersey group. If you don't like speed, don't look at this now. Here she leans the bike over. He's going to take every single risk he can. You rode this this morning, so it's fast now. I rode this this morning, not as fast as this. He is taking a lot of risks there, and he has got everything to gain from these risks. If he holds off this group, he's got a whoop, Tour de France stage. Ooh. He's braking so hard. You see him locking up the wheels coming into the corners. Look at the slide on the back wheel as he went through the corner. Alessandro is in there. Here she now going downhill, almost catching the lead car. Into another one at 60k an hour. He locks the bike up again, leans it over. Another fast right-hander, leans it right into there in the dark. The difficulty also is your eyes changing with the different sunlight and the dark all the time. There's some de definitely some darker patches. It's very sheltered on this descent. There's some trees hanging over the road. So the visibility is quite poor in a number of spots. Into another aero tuck. Mark Hirschi, his advantage now is 23 seconds. He's just following that lead car, watching where it's going in through every single corner. Between now and the climb, the gradual climb up to the finish, because he has a good advantage now. If you've just joined us, where have you been? This rider's on the attack. He descends like a hurricane. Mark Hirschi now is going for the stage. Fast downhill, his advantage 20 seconds. He said earlier to us in an interview that he took a little bit of time to recover after that 90 kilometer effort. But now there's no doubt this rider is on form again. It's just looking ahead here for the lead car, for the lead motorbikes, trying to pick his way through these corners, tucking down wherever possible to increase his speed. 71 kilometers an hour as he made his way to that left hander. He looks so fast on this descent. They'll really have to work together behind to bridge this, this 20 second gap back up to Mark Hershey. Here's the groups. They're spread all over the place. Here's she going downhill. Behind him at 23 seconds is Julian Alaphilippe's group. There is still Soler and Shackman in between the group, the lead rider being Hershey and the group of Julian Alaphilippe which means that Alaphilippe's group could be a little bit further back. In fact, we've just got a new time check. Now he's going to set himself up for another left-hand turn. This one's a little bit more sharp. He needs to lean the bike into this. He'll get himself ready for the banner. 20 kilometers to go for the Sunweb rider. OK, now he's got a little narrow section, a bit of a right-hander. These roads are narrow. The banks on either side, ditches on either side. They're not the easiest roads to race on, are they? They've been resurfaced in places. Just taking the shortest way to the finish line. Mark Hirschi. Every single corner is thought about. Every single turn is considered. He takes another bottle. He doesn't get out of that aero position at all. He keeps the shoulders rock solid, the back flat, the head down. He tries to cut every single little bit of aero. Meanwhile, we go back to the front with our solo leader into the aero tuck again, trying to get any bit of advantage he can, rocking on at 65 kilometers an hour. When a rider has it in his head to win, there's nothing to stop him. There's our 3D profile and our 3D positioning. Again, the groups are just maintaining that same distance apart. Hershey out front, Soler and Shackman in the middle, and then the chase group of Julian Alaphilippe about a minute behind. Here she goes through the next turn. He's safely over that little climb. He clicked his way through the gears again, comes up to the camera bike, goes past. 
looks for the next right-hander, and now he's got 10 kilometers of time trialing to go. 